First Negro side then, and Roland Muller in goal. It's a back three of Dennis Villanueva, Josh Groman and Sean Kane. Minigishi and Porteria operating on the left and right flanks respectively. Maniot pulling the strings in the midfield alongside Odawara. Stefan Schrock on the left hand side and pretty much wherever he likes to go with Bianbe Maranon and Robert Mendy up top. Botan Kwang Nin, a 4 2 3 1 formation. 4 5 1 defensively. Tuan Lin in goal, the skipper. Van Kua left back, Tan Ho, Lastro, and Zhuang Hang. Fan Nguyen Sa and Mak Hong Kwang just ahead of the back four with Hei Kwai, Kok Tan, Swan Tu ahead of them, and Jeremy Lynch leading the line by himself up top. Some 12 minutes left in the other game, taking place from Group H, which sees Svei Rieng leading Bali United by two goals to one. As it stands, Serres Negros will top the group on four points. Here's Sean Kane. It's done by Kane ahead of him for Terrier. Odawara. Well, the halftime team talk from Fan Tan Hong of Tan Kwan Nin must have been down to try and release Jeremy Lynch in, on every occasion possible. It's going to break to Schrock. Schrock looks up, looks for Mendy. Well, I wonder how is that now a foul? That's manhandling from Mendy. Have a look right here. That's a foul. Quite how he got his right beat to it. That's pretty impressive. Well, that's impressive. I, I think I like the way he maneuvered himself, but his manhandling on one core. Makes a lovely run just down the channel, looking for Ott, cleared by Lastro. And Quang gives it away. Odawara. Minigishi outside of him, one back by Juan Tu. Oh, he's such a workhorse, Juan Tu, and he's brought down there. And Odawara, is he going to receive a yellow card? He's given a yellow for an earlier foul because he's actually gone to shock. But I thought you know what? I should have received the yellow card as well. That's a clear foul on obstruction of play. Oh, was with a Nueva sliding in dangerously late there.
Schrock on this near side, Porteria screaming for the ball. Well, great start to the second half, six minutes. Tides really equal at this point, as the score suggests. Bit of spite, bit of beastiness in there. Only can add to the drama. Well, certainly a sense of urgency with this busman side now. Shock. Up against Schwong Hang. Shock centre. Six up top here for the Bassman. Including Mendy. Ooh, I thought he was going to get his head to that. Well cleared by Lastro. Pateria loops the ball back in. And Odawara's tame effort gives the chance for Tang Kwan Nin to get forward here. Nice turn by Schrock comes away, it's four against four. Stefan Schrock with a lovely ball, here's Porteria. Maranon with his arm raised in the center. Schrock, Stefan Schrock, Stefan Schrock. Maranon to make it 2-1. Should have done better. Well, that's an absolute shocking off of the decision from Maranon at that position. He just got to smash it low across the goalkeeper. Not really sure what has gone through his mind. He's already in the six yard box and he's trying to dink the goalkeeper from there. Beautiful play from Schrock. He had a shot in his mind, sees the teammate in a better position. Now, perhaps in his mind, could have taken the shot himself. In his 10th year now at the club is Tuan Lin. He's only 5 foot 10. He's got some work to do here. Mendy again, maybe. Could have done better. Wondering if they had a lot of training on hitting on the crossbar. Sometimes. That does not help. What's your experiences of playing on artificial turf, Stanley? It always takes a lot more out of you. Um, just the fact that there's rubber, the black rubber that you see around the pitch, not equal into soil, it takes a lot more, and it takes longer to recover.
Stefan Schrock. Looks up, looking for Mendy. Sean Kane now. Oh, intercepted. Here's Kwok Chan. Oh, he's brought down. He's done really well on the yellow card here. For Sean Kane. But Kwok Chan has done really well. Well, that midfield stood longer than he did in that first game. That alone is an improvement. We're looking at the Stone Kong Nin side improving in the second half. I think that's what you'll find in the first 12 minutes of the second half so far. Still very disciplined, tactically, and strong in the middle of the park. Still a long way to go in this half. Interesting that two of Ceres Negros's back three now have been yellow carded. Cock turn. <laughs> Mendy does well and continues his run. Stefan Schrock is the winger that Ceres are looking for. Put out of play by Zhuang Huang. Here is an acres of space on this near side. Stefan Schrock, Maniot. Lynch with uh, a really useful run down the channel. I think Maniot thought he had fouled them, but play on. Says Amaro is one. And here's OJ Porteria. Mendy is in space ahead of him. But brought down by Duong Van Kwa. Well, I think he had to make a decision in his mind. Ankoa, he stopped. He made a decision early on. You backtrack, you backtrack, and then you just got to stop backtracking at some point. And then when a player goes past you, you got to make the decision. Allow either you allow him or take that take that risk and that risk has been taken now now Schrock who we know put in a really good ball in the first half from the opposite side similar distance golden ball winner in 2019 Stefan Schrock well to force an error there from Ronan Muller, but they've got away with it here, the busman. Kane. Porteria. Maranon comes close and then darts down the right-hand side. Mendy waits in the area. Back to Manny. Ott! Off the woodwork. Well, this time, really, really good play from Marignan. Just a little turn of pace. There you go. And then he's already got a pass in him in the form of Marignan, who prepares himself really well. Takes it early. Just perhaps, again, I would say, didn't get on the right part of the ball because he got underneath the ball rising still quite close to Tuan Lin hits the crossbar on Quan's cross looking for Lynch
Marano. Mendy's made a useful run on this near side. Oh, the reverse pass. Porteria. Still OJ! It's the go ahead goal for the Bassman. OJ Porteria on the score sheet after 62 minutes. Saris Negros 2, Tang Kwan Nin 1. <laughs> Well, that miss from Marignon has certainly turned himself around. Has made himself sharper. And then, this is why he can produce that beautiful reverse pass. But Poteria needs to take credit because he's made that run in anticipation of receiving that pass. And on his stride, Makes that little space and that, that finish. Takes out Tuan Lin. And Ceres scores a really good goal to take the lead. Born in Virginia, United States. Jose Elmer Porteria. Philippines International now. Will stand for all the, the good defensive work for Tan Kwan Nin. They find themselves two goals to one down. But I know you've been impressed with this Vietnamese side. Yeah. Just think uh, they've been hard done by with that penalty. I think second half, both sides have come out to really try and get three points out of this match. Um, you could see second half, 1-1. One, one. Probably went into halftime thinking that they were hard done. Let's take the lead again. But been really good play for Maranion after missing that chance which he could have buried. Perhaps that's the reaction you get from a player who's got that quality. And he's certainly the difference. He's up this game. And OJ Poteria with a really good finish. But it's, it's far from over. Andy, far from it. Straight into the face there of Fan Nguyen Sa. Looking for the run of, yep, guess who? Jeremy Lynch. Sean Kane's clearance. And I think it's time for a substitution here, double substitution at that. As Dal Nat Min comes on, as does Nguyen Van Viet. And that looks to be an offensive change, Stan. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, they perhaps are going to take a little bit risk. Um, he's a more offensive player. And why not? Because I think if they can still produce what they produced in the first half in the sense of how well organized that midfield is, still very much in this match. 
Poteria. Mendy ahead of him. Still Poteria. Ooh, almost got past Dong Van Goa. Here he is again, Poteria. He brought down play on, so Sam Rui has won. Lynch has made a lovely run again, and he's got ahead of Villanueva. And this time it's Josh Groman. Well, that's a great piece of example. I'm still shocked that the referees called that for a foul. Absolutely shocking decision. How does he expect Lynch to go in? The defender is bent so low to use his head. But anyways, Lynch... Again, if he can that kind of service, because his positioning is so good in between defenders, he's just off the shoulder. And one of the players that can provide that pass is one two as he did. But it needs to happen more consistently. And very much in this match. Elsewhere, a real shock as Fei Rieng have beaten Bali United by two goals to one. It's Fei Rieng. Their first points in this group H. Stefan Shock offside. One two who's brought down. And I guess she says he's got the ball, but um five in the opposition eighteen yard area for Tan Kwan Nin. Dong Van Kua just operating on the edge of the box. It's almost slipped through. And they can't clear here in the equaliser for the Hero Miners. Nguyen Hei Hoi, who's been so impressive in this match. And we are back on level terms here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Well, if that's one man deserving a goal tonight to get on the score sheet it's this man after he was hard done fantastic performance in the first 45 minutes was hard done by a foul that i don't think it was a foul but here is his reaction good piece of technique gets the first touch and then get the right contact on his laces no chance for roland muller again i would say this game is far from anything that you're seeing about you Stan it's just got the feeling that when Serres Negros took the lead they thought that the rest of the match would be a full match well, firstly I think Fan Tan Kong the uh, Tan Kong Lin coach should be really pleased now with what he's seen with 25 minutes gone in the second half that his team is sustaining longer. They're really strong in the middle of the park. They've not let much slip. Yes, they've conceded through a really good goal, through a really good pass from Maranion, really good finish from this man here, OJ Poteria. But besides that, they've not let a lot slip. They're right back in this. Very different to that first game where they were down 10 men from the very first five, 10 minutes. Still, as you know, football is about 90 minutes. They've got to be consistent for the remainder of the game. Attacking options on the bench for Ceres, Junior Munoz, James Young Husband, Angelo Marasigan. 
Next one to one of the sides, another free kick. Now, Saras, can they deal with this better than they did before? Nevin Lastro moves forward. Van Viet is up there too. Roland Muller comes, comes out, gets something on it. Now I'm looking for Porteria. Twan Lin. Minigeshi forward, but Tuan Lin will clear that back into the opposition half. What do you make of that um, Svei Rieng 2-1 win over Bali United now? Never saw that coming, I must say. Never saw that coming, but again... that Bali's played away from home. It shows how true sometimes it's a cliche saying Indonesian sites playing away from home. You can never expect what's going to happen. That's a great example. After starting with a bank 4-1 win against such a good side in Tuan Kong Lin as you're seeing today, they've gone on and lost an away game. That just opens up the group and this result here, if it remains, it's all to play for. Group G gets more and more interesting. 2-2 two, two here. Just over 15 minutes of standard time. Stadium announcer, just confirmation of Hayhoy's goal. Area looking for Mendy. Oh, is he looking for Maranon? Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to have Kok Chan outside him. Here is Kok Tan. Hey hoi, hey hoi. Still hey hoi. And the snapshot coming in. Well, as you can see, Muller's reaction not really happy, rightly so. Hoi just driving this side forward. Then you'll see him sitting in defense really well, but he's been pushed higher in the second half, and he's certainly causing a lot of damage just because of his running prowess, of his energy, and a bit of quality in how he sees a pass. Number 10, but now him just dropping in the hole. Be an interesting 15 minutes because I think Suez has got enough in them to provide us to a dramatic end. Tan Kwan Lin fancying themselves for three points here. As you can see, pressing higher up the pitch. Hmm. Josh Grumman had to be sharp, and he was. Sean Kang. Poteria. Scorer of the Basman's second goal, scrapping, but and, and rather wins a, a free kick. We 
would wax lyrical about Stefan Schrock, but he's had little or no impact on this game, Stan. Uh, well, he was he was pretty pretty good in the first half in how he picked up that left hand side, couple of crosses. Um, if you biting into the second half, yep, I think he could offer a little bit more. Marinion perhaps has just picked himself up after missing that chance early on in the second half. Change for each of these sides. Marasigan set to come on for the Bussman. Well, Nguyen Heilong makes an appearance for Tan Kwan in the third substitution. Ninja right there, Stan, no J. Porteria. It's set to come off. Lynch. Kwok Tan. Van Kua. Doa Nap finds Lastro. Haylong just operating just behind Jeremy Lynch. Here he is, his header. You can see the darting run that Haylong has made. Nine minutes remaining of the 90 here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium, two apiece. Both sides having the opportunity to take the lead. Lynch giving the visitors one goal advantage after 27 minutes, pegged back on the stroke of half time by Marinon's penalty. The busman then taking the lead just after the hour through OJ Porteria before Hay Kwoi smashed home on the 70th minute mark. Well, either of these sides claim three points given away there. Hey Hoy, unsurprisingly, the man who intercepted. Another good crowd here at the Rizal Memorial. Jeremy Lynch, top of your screen, top left. Mara Seagan. Looking for Mendy. Oh, couldn't get the shout from the goalkeeper there. Did last stroke. of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Mendy's still down here. Big Van Lynch is still down here. blow to the remainder if he's unable to continue yeah, if he's trying to yeah, I, think, uh, I think it's the shoulder it's not gone out of place it looks like it has he's just trying to work things out with that with that right hand shoulder Good news, he's back on the pitch, I think, Lynch. Tank one in, have made all three of their substitutions. Corner number four now for Ceres Negros.
Daniel out swinger. Josh Grumman's moves forward, looking for Mendy. Here's one two. Has to go by himself. Sean two intercepted. He's got himself into some dangerous positions for Quantan Nin. Shock turns it round the corner. Odawara brought it down, but play on. And Mendy's making his way usefully into the center. Marasigan is free at this far stick. Shock couldn't find either. Oh, lovely turn by Hai Hoi. Again looking for the run of Lynch. And again, the referee Amiro has completely missed that Lynch. He's just barged into the villain away. Yep, completely barged into him. And now it's, oh, it's Groman. And he's missed it. Confusing 3 and 13. There you go. It's a foul. And Lightsman's got to help him. Yes, he's. In a very deep area, that's a clear push. Mahai, who has just been outstanding. My man of the match since first half. He's continued that run. Put himself on the score sheet as well. I just think they might feel hard done by, by not taking the three points, but they'll be okay with a point. Knowing that Ceres and Bali are hot favorites and knowing that Bali has actually lost their match. This is a really good result for Tan Kuang Lin. Certainly a, a great result for Ceres Negro. Negro's purely because they have stopped the group and Bali's not won their game. And given the performance levels of this Vietnamese side, you have to think that Vilikovic can hold his hands up and say, yeah, point, it's good good enough on this occasion yeah they've been the second best side I don't think they've been the better side they're not the best side in the second half uh, in the first half they've been better in the second half so is Tan Kuang Lin if 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 matched that second half it's certainly the better side in the first half shot Mendy's made a lovely run forward Stefan shot cuts it back but no one's there here's Hai Long well, show some energy moving this ball forward well intercepted by Manny Ott. There's been some standout performances by some of the players from Tan Kuan Nin. Kok Tan has been impressive at the heart of midfield, at the back. Van Kua, Nevin Lastro, Tuan Han. All had standout games. Stanley's man of the match, Hei Hoi. Two minutes left, plus stoppage time. One two's gone down, but there was really nothing in that. We'll get Stanley's thoughts on that in just a second, but yeah, unnecessary for Modawara. Should be caution. You took a different li line and point of view. That's all I thought you might there, Stan. Well, players do milk it without a doubt, but don't give them a chance to. 60 seconds remaining here at the Rizal Memorial. 
Long from Muller. Marasiga. The whites of his eyes lit up. Now the match time in uh, Stan. You've mentioned it already, but just formalize it for us, will you? Well, it's not further than uh, the men I've mentioned now three times. I think Hai Hoi just been that impressive. Um, I just like the work he's put in. I like how he's driven his side from midfield when needed, both defensively and offensively. He's a proper, he's a proper box-to-box -box midfielder, which is rare these days. Hey, Long's gone down. With a Crash to the back of the head. He infuriated the Hero Miners players. Additional time on four minutes. Okay. Manny Ott, who's had a quiet second 45. Let's just retake that again, shall we? That's a throw in. Take two. Jeremy Lynch might have come close to him out of the match as well. We want to give him a mention for that goal after 27 minutes. It was really well taken. Well, firstly, he's been consistent. He's got in two games, two out of two in the first half and still very consistent in how he moves around the center backs always a night good nose and smells the right areas the right spaces to move into Sure, good defending by Josh Groman. Two and a half minutes of stoppage time remaining. And they've not left anything behind Tan Kwan Nin. They have given their all for their coach Fan Tan Hung. There's going to be a twist in this tail. Maniot coming forward, beating Stefan Schrock. Mendy working his way into the area. Nice starting run. Marasigan's free on this far post, but again, Stefan Schrock is closed down by Zhuang Hung. He's had little joy from the right back of Stefan Schrock. Yeah, it's been really impressive um, from Tan Kuan Nin and how they've collectively handled Schrock better in the second half. They might have conceded uh, to a good goal, but they've really, and again, this is really unnecessary for Manion. Ayo has certainly run himself to the ground. Uh, let the referee deal with it. Manion has manhandled him. So not happy. I know it happens quite a bit around this region. One of those voices. Yes. Just goes down far too easily by Ayo. Hard to see <laughs> past that the fact that he's really ran himself to the ground. I think his heart rate monitor must be clocking in about just about 11 kilometers to chop on this weather.
Lynch. Oh, lovely control. Villanueva in attendance. Hey Long in the center. And you know what? This could be the last. wonder how many players they'll commit forward. Nevin Lastro's moved through the gears to get himself up there. Kwok Tan is there. Kwok Tan goes towards it. And Van Koer's effort from the edge of the air should be the last of the action, maybe. And added time of stoppage time. Goes long. Full time score here in the Group G encounter between Ceres Negros and Tan Kwan Nin. It's finished two apiece. Ceres Negros topping the group now with four points. Lynch had given the visitors the lead after 27 minutes before Marinon was brought down in the area. He coolly converted on the stroke of half time. OJ Porteria then gave the busman a 2-1 lead.